The Women's World Cup is taking place this summer, and I'm going to count down the top five best jerseys from this year's tournament, starting right now. For the first time ever, the women at the World Cup will be wearing jerseys that were exclusively and specifically designed for just them. Nike, Adidas, and some of the other companies have released unique designs that were exclusively made for each of the countries that they are outfitting at this summer's tournament. In years past, the women would just wear a female version of whatever kit the men were wearing that year, but not anymore. But before we get into the top five, my name is Louie and this is Treble and we are a channel for Americans who love soccer by Americans who love soccer. And we post videos every single week. So if you're new here, come on over, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. And make sure you let us know which Women's World Cup jersey is your favorite down in the comments below. But all right, let's jump into the top five. Kicking us off at number five is Germany. Adidas took one of the most iconic designs in German soccer history and completely revamped it and modernized it for the women this summer. Despite it feeling almost overused at this point, especially because they've basically been recycling the same kind of design over the last couple of years, I really think Adidas did a great job with this one. It stands apart from all of the other jersey designs that have all come from the same inspiration. They pixelated that iconic geometric pattern to bring it into the 21st century and added a depth of color to this jersey. This design has its roots in Germany's famed soccer history, but elevates it past that to give the German women their very own emblematic version of a classic. This is a very clean and modern design, but I need to draw a line here. Adidas, you need to stop recycling the same design. I'm starting to get a little bit sick of seeing the same design recycled in different ways year in and year out for Germany. From here on out, let's try a different design, okay? Coming in at number four is England. Despite their home jersey being a pretty standard English kit, their away jersey blew me away. And the devil is in the details with this one. It is a deep burgundy color with a beautiful rose pattern across the whole kit. The roses were inspired by the 10 roses in the three lions crest. Nike decided to keep the same numbering that they had used for the men in last year's tournament, which I actually thought was a pretty smart move because not only were those numbers just really good looking, it also provides that connection between both the men and the women's team. The socks are also rose pattern, while the shorts are a solid color, which I like because it breaks up that pattern and doesn't make it look too over the top. I absolutely love this kit. It's elegant, it's classy, and I honestly wish I could have ranked it higher. Coming in at number three is France. Nike absolutely knocked it out of the park with this one for France, with both their away and their home. Their white away kit has this almost polka dot pattern, but in reality, they're not polka dots. They are hexagons in the shape of the French national team's crest. But now with that being said, they're polka dot, which I'm totally okay with. I actually love that polka dot look. It's modern and it stands out and I think it works oh so well. As for the home jersey, it's a little bit more subtle, but it's still beautiful. The top is a deep navy color with white shorts and red socks, reminiscent of the French flag. They've also carried over that polka dot pattern onto the socks of this one, which I really, really enjoy as well. But what really takes the cake in both of these jerseys for me is the lettering. Nike went with a rose gold lettering for both jerseys, which I think really elevates both jerseys from decent designs to smash hits for both. It's such a stylish touch that just adds so much elegance to each jersey. The French women's team is gonna look amazing during this World Cup at home. But now the question becomes, can they add their own star above that crest just like the men did last year? I'm so excited about this World Cup! It's gonna be so lit! Coming in number two is the Netherlands. There aren't many more iconic images during a World Cup than the Dutch national team's all orange home kit. And Nike seems to agree because for the 2017 European champions, Nike took a timeless design that was worn by Johan Cruyff, Van Basten, Burkamp and added a layer of modern style through the tulip pattern on the body of the jersey. That design took inspiration from Holland's famous tulips and is a beautiful touch as well as an homage to their country. What I love about this jersey is the subtlety and how it's all in the small details. The way the tulip pattern gets mimicked on the socks 
really ties it all together for me. I love the way that their crest sits on an orange shield that almost blends into the jersey, keeping up with that minimalistic design. Oh, and as for that crest, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but the Dutch women wear a completely different crest than the men do. The women's crest sports a lioness, while the men have a lion on theirs. I love this because it gives each team their own individuality, but keeping them connected at the same time. Nike really succeeded in creating a kit that pays homage to the many classic Dutch kits of the past while also creating something entirely new and modern. And who knows, maybe this one becomes the most iconic Dutch jersey of all time. That is, if the Dutch Lionesses can win their country its first ever World Cup. As for our honorable mentions, Nigeria. Look, this kit is undoubtedly awesome. It was the best kit at last year's World Cup and quite possibly the best design that has come out of world soccer in a very long time. It became so iconic for Nigeria. And so it was probably the right move for Nike to make this the women's jersey as well. But unfortunately we have seen it before and it's not entirely unique to the women's game. So I had to leave it out of the top five. Our next honorable mention goes to China. Their away kit is fly. The orange shorts, orange socks, and that gray top with that beautiful oriental like bird pattern. Really, really nice. And our last honorable mention goes to the United States. Unfortunately, I could not put my girls on this list. It was just too much quality from all of the other countries. And while they may not be in our top five, they are number one in our hearts. And finally, coming in at number one, is Australia. Yes, I know this kit may seem like a mess at first glance, but hear me out. This is the iconic kit for the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. This is the equivalent of the 2018 Nigeria kit from last year. It stands apart from all of its contemporaries and has a style all of its own. Australia isn't usually known for having the most iconic kits. Most Australia jerseys that I remember always just end up looking like cheap Brazil knockoffs since both countries use green and yellow. But Nike completely changed that with this design, which reportedly took three full years to finalize. They literally went through every single detail with their female athletes in terms of the fit, the trim, the colors, everything. They kept changing every little detail to better suit the female athletic body. This design is inspired by graffiti and almost has that like 90s design aesthetic, but it does this with a very modern touch through the numbering and the lettering. It's warm, it's wild, and it has those green almost floral accents. This feels like the perfect kit to represent Australia. Oh, and the socks. The socks are so sick. It's like a tornado of color went off, but in the best way possible. This kit finally put forth a modern Australian design that will be remembered for decades to come. The Matildas may not have the best chance of winning the Summer's World Cup, but in my mind, they've already won. There will be a generation of young footballers who will always remember Australia for these jerseys. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the top five best jerseys from the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. And don't forget to let us know in the comments below which country would take the number one spot in your list. If you want more top five lists and videos like this one, make sure you come over here and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. You can follow us on all of our social media at Trouble Soccer, as well as we have a website where we post articles every single week at www.troublesoccer.com. Well, that's it for me, guys. We'll catch you later. Hey, did you know that Canada has a professional soccer league? Yeah, they do. And their jerseys are pretty sick too. Check out this video to see the top five Canadian Premier League jerseys. And hey, do you enjoy lengthier soccer conversations about culture? Well, we have a podcast called Culture FC where we take a deep dive into all the topics surrounding American soccer. Check that out right here.